In order to use water tank math, we must understand the design that I use for water tank math. When I draw my design, I usually draw this rectangular shape. Instead of drawing a toilet, I feel that this rectangular shape will work very well. The zero line going across the middle is going to represent water level in a toilet. When we go into our restrooms or our own bathrooms at home, normally the water level is always at the same spot. That's going to represent the zero line. Sometimes we've gone into our bathroom at home and the water level for some reason is higher than it normally is. There's more water in there. I'm going to say that those are positive values. So the tick marks above the zero line are going to be my positive numbers. Sometimes we've maybe gone into our, our bathroom at home and the water level is below where it normally is. There's less water in there. That less water is going to represent negative numbers. So these tick marks are all my negative values. So again, the zero line is going to be where the water level is normally at. It's always going to start there. Now, the, the uh, rectangular shape over on the side is going to represent my drain. I felt that this is the best way to draw a sewer or draw a drain for our water tank map. The water tank map apparatus that you may make in your own classroom is going to resemble this. Uh, I'm not going to put a drain at the bottom of a, of a rectangle or of a tank, so I felt that off the side was the best way to show that. At the top of our toilet is going to be where our, uh, the top of our toilet bowl would be. So imagine that's like the inlet to our toilet bowl. And then I have these lines. This is the beginner diagram for water tank map. I have beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then when kids are drawing their own, or, or you may be drawing your own uh, water tank map, then that's going to be the expert level. So at the beginner level, I have all these uh, designs, all these uh, graphics on here, and it, one of those includes the, the curve at the top and also the curve at the bottom. By having these curves at the top and the bottom, I think it's a great way to start off as a beginner on understanding where is the water coming from. And we'll get into more of that in some later videos.